I uh, found this project online. It's uh, Uno to IEC. This is the interface for it. It runs over an Arduino Uno with a USB right here. And then you put it in these pins that are wired into the serial connection on the Commodore. So we have a Commodore 64C and an 1802 monitor. And, you know, your standard joystick. I don't have the, the disk drive plugged in right now. As you can see, the light's not on, so... Um, this kind of shows you what the file listing is in the disk image. And down here you have your different um, log entries here on loading the disk image. And, you know, as you can see, there's my... Uh, Folder. I have some just some images on here. It's just some D64 files. You can see there's a D64 extension. Um, and so you, you know, do your standard load command. Sorry, the monitor might be showing some lines there. Uh, and then you run. And this is the first time I've run this disk, so I don't know if it's going to work or not. See what happens. Look at that. 1942. Of course, that's a crack screen because, yeah. Alright. I'm going to see if I can play this at all. Run, stop, start. See if I can play this one handed. Probably not. <laughs> uh, what? No? I, I don't know. Is, that, is there some kind of trainer on this? Looks like it's. Uh, A little bigger than my screen, maybe? I don't know. Well, let's just try it. Run stop or something? Does it not work with the uh, the joystick? I don't think a game like this would have to work with the joystick, huh? Have fun. I don't know what keys to use on this. something funky going on in this test image. Anyway, you get the idea. Code works. It's by uh, some guy named Lars Word. Lars Wad, something like that. Um, if, uh, I'll post the uh, link in the description along with some... Uh, oh, I know what I'll show you. Um, so I ran... I did it on XP because it's my like retro-ish gaming machine here. So... Um, I couldn't get his 5 version to compile using QT. I ended up using QT um, which one is it? I downloaded so many of these uh, not the MSVC this one no. 5.3.2 with the MINGW compiler instead of the MSVC. Uh, the MSVC 2012 doesn't produce good binaries on XP. Um, and then I also had, I used the, the uh, 0.40 version because I couldn't get the other one to compile. But um, So I put the QEXT serial port in there, just took the whole folder, the master folder here, copied everything out of that into this folder, 
open this. He's got instructions on his site. Um, and it finally compiled, and then what I ended up doing, instead of doing paths or anything like that, I took the executable it made, and I just stuck it in my QT bin folder. So there you see that. 532, 5.3, yeah, whatever, the bin folder. There it is. Made a shortcut on the desktop. Runs just fine. That's this thing. Alright. Um, short video. Thank you for checking me out. Bye.